From this video, uh, we will discuss about some uh, microscopic and macroscopic specimens of tumors which origin from connective tissues. So you know there are several types of connective tissues as uh, peripheral nerves, adipose tissue, muscles, bones and cartilages in our body. First we will have a look on the tumors which origin from uh, peripheral nerves. There are two types of tumors as benign tumors and malignant tumors which arise from nerves. Um, benign tumors are schwannoma and neurofibroma. Malignant tumors are malignant peripheral nerve sheath tumors. Here in this photograph you can see it is a schwannoma. A macroscopic uh, view of schwannoma. Here when we talk about the appearance it is a solitary and uh, well circumscribed tumor. And there is a, a capsule as well. Here is a microscopic view of schwannoma. Uh, in uh, microscopy, you, you can see there are uh, two areas. Here, this area is we called as hypercellular area or Anthony A area. Here, this area is we called as hypocellular area or Anthony B area. Hypercellular area is as you can see here, it is more cellular and composed of compact spindle shaped cells. You can see compact spindle shaped cells they are arranged as short fascicles in uh, some area uh, some areas of uh, hypercellular area or anthony a area uh, you can see there are uh, veroke bodies like structures that means you have palisadine appearance here nuclear palisadine appearance and uh, normal cytoplasm in between uh, veroke body means uh, it is a structure formed by two rows of palisaded nuclei. These are the two rows of palisaded nuclei and separated by an oval mass of pinkish cytoplasm. Here is the pinkish cytoplasm. Here you call this as veroke body. This veroke body can be seen in Anthony A area or hypercellular area. Here is also another picture. Here is hypercellular area and here is hypocellular area. In this hypocellular area, it is, uh, you can see, less cellular and the background is myxoid. That means it contains mucopolysaccharides in the background. In hypocellular area or Anthony B area. Here next, uh, you can see these are, uh, this is a patient with a neurofibroma. Neurofibroma is also a slowly growing benign neoplasm. When we talk about the macroscopy, it is a, a fusiform shape or large expansion of nerves. And it is somewhat uh, firm and rubbery in consistency. Firm and rubbery in consistency. Cystic degeneration is common here. Here is a microscopic uh, view of neurofibroma. Uh, this contain proliferated Schwann cells and fibroblasts as well as uh, here there are haphazardly arranged uh, spindle shaped cells and there are wavy nuclei. Here there are wavy nuclei and uh, they have pointed ends. Wavy nuclei with pointed ends. Here again uh, this is also a microscopic view of neurofibroma. Then we will discuss about the tumors uh, which uh, origin from the adipose tissue. Uh, benign tumor is a uh, lipoma, we call it as lipoma and malignant tumor we call it as liposarcoma. Here you can see this is a cut section of lipoma. When we talk about the macroscopy, macroscopic appearance, it is uh, well circumscribed and the cut surface and uh, there is lobular. Here you can see it has lobules and also homogeneously yellow in color. That means fatty appearance, homogeneously yellow in color. It has divided into lobules by fibrous septae. These are the fibrous septae you can see in whitish color. Here another picture with a lipoma. Here you can see microscopic view of a lipoma. Here, uh, nucleus has pushed into periphery in those mature adipocytes. These are we call as mature adipocytes with no atypical shapes. Here is a microscopic view of uh, liposarcoma. That means it composed of 
atypical adipocytes that means uh, they they are uh, lipoblasts and they are atypical adipocytes here you can see atypical adipocytes are there in uh, different sizes as well then we will talk about the uh, tumors which origin from the smooth muscles there are two types of tumors benign tumors are leiomyoma and malignant tumors are leiomyosarcoma here you can see gross uh, macroscopic appearance of leiomyoma here there are multiple leiomyomas and there is no hemorrhages or necrosis you can see cut surface is whitish in color and they are well circumscribed and non capsulated there is a world appearance these leiomyomas commonly you can see in the uterus this is also the same picture leiomyoma here is a microscopic appearance of uh, leiomyoma you can see it is composed of intersecting smooth muscle bundles these are the smooth muscle bundles you can see here here this is a leiomyosarcoma you can see there are hemorrhages and necrosis in the cut surface there are hemorrhages and necrosis the areas it is uh, not whitish as uh, in leiomyoma and also you can see it is a bulky and fleshy tumor in this one you can see microscopic appearance of uh, leiomyosarcoma you can see uh, there are enlarged nuclei are there and also pleomorphic nuclei and also there are increased mitosis next we will discuss about the tumors which origin from cartilaginous tissue cartilage tissue there are three types of tumors we will discuss here chondroma which is a benign cartilage tumor then uh, osteosarcoma sorry not osteosarcoma it is osteochondroma osteochondroma is a benign tumor which occur in bones then chondrosarcoma which is the malignant tumor of cartilaginous origin what are the three types of tumors which origin from cartilages chondroma osteochondroma and chondrosarcoma chondroma and osteochondroma are benign tumors while chondrosarcoma is a malignant tumor here is a gross appearance of uh, chondroma which has a lobulated cartilaginous mass this has lobulated cartilaginous mass here here in this microscopic view of uh, chondroma you can see lobules of mature cartilage tissue these are mature cartilage tissue here this is an x ray of uh, osteochondroma this is a osteochondroma here this has grown out from the bone and it is like a mushroom like structure mushroom stalk this is a gross appearance of uh, osteochondroma you can see here and it is a exophytic lesion osteochondroma is a exophytic lesion which has a cartilage cap here here this is a cartilaginous cap here is a microscopic view of osteochondroma here you can see cartilaginous cap here here this part is the mature trabecular bone this part is the mature trabecular bone here this is a gross appearance of chondrosarcoma chondrosarcoma is the malignant tumor which arise from cartilages here as you can see uh, it is a expansile and glistering mass that erodes the cortex you can see it is expansile and glistering mass this can be also infiltrate into the surrounding tissues as well then next we will discuss about the tumors which origin from bones benign tumors which arise from bones are osteoma osteoid osteoma and osteoblastomas and the malignant tumors which arise from bones are osteosarcoma here you can see a picture of osteosarcoma osteosarcoma microscopic view of osteosarcoma it is composed of pleomorphic spindle shaped cells with scattered bizarre cells 
here is a osteoid osteoid which forms by the tumor cells mitosis are there and also necrosis is also present so that's all about the tumors which arise from the con con connective tissues thank you for watching